I've got a farm for you that you have only dreamed about. A showplace property, a lifestyle horse farm with the blackboard fence lined driveway, oak trees, 47 acres, a true legacy property that you will give your kids and your grandkids. Cindy and I moved here to Central Kentucky 36, eight years ago, and we've never looked back. Come join me today to see this magnificent property with all the goodies. It's got three horse barns, a 3,300 square foot elegant house, four or more bedrooms, three baths, Boyle County, three season room, a huge deck overlooking your hay fields and your pastures in the 700s. If this appeals to you, great. If you like to just watch, hit the like and subscribe button, great. If you wanna buy property like this, you're gonna to wanna to get on our home finder. We will send you properties like this before they hit the market. On this channel, we look for properties that have uh, a country vibe. Uh, we call them lifestyle properties. My wife and I were having coffee this morning. Well, I have tea because I'm a tea guy. Fancy. We were having coffee this morning. We were talking about a couple friends. We have two friends that just sold their companies for hundreds of millions and thought, like, why did they sell? Um, and it's like, when is the jump off period? Like, are you gonna wait the extra years to get social security? Or can you retire now? Can you sell your company? Like there's just so many things to think about. And I guess what you really need to think about is what do you wanna do with the rest of your life? It's got me feeling super blessed because we did this 30 some years ago. So when it's a good time to plant the tree? 30 years ago or today, right? We're gonna see this, uh, Michael is his name, we're gonna see his farm. This guy's a professor. Uh, and everybody asks, why are they selling? It's just life stuff, man. You know, uh, changing jobs, divorce, death. What do they say, the Ds? A death, divorce, uh, debt, whatever disinterest. That's why you sell properties. That's why you sell uh, businesses. So is it time for you? I think it's time for us to probably wind down a little bit more, but we ain't going nowhere. We are so happy with being here. Uh, let me just turn this around. This is Bluegrass Community and Technical College here, and then these big black barns are Wilderness Trail Distillery. They started that company 10 years ago and we always say where where should I live well you should live where it's easy to make uh, to be successful right to make a living and and you should vacation wherever you want to go but they are building more Rick houses and more Rick houses they just sold to Campari now this is I'm not giving you any kind of insider information or whatever it's in the newspaper you can look it up they sold to Campari 10 years they started this thing sold for 600 million crazy right businesses are sold by a multiplier of net so whatever they're netting the other people wanted it it was a good time for these people to just get out but in their very early 50s uh, these people were able to uh, to cash out which is pretty nice so back to retirement I'm yammering on. This is Boyle County, baby. If you like this, great. If you don't like it, then you ain't gonna like living here. We came from a place that's 10 times more densely populated. I could not even imagine going back there. In fact, sometimes we have to go back for family or 
you know, whatever, weddings, funerals, birthdays, whatever, and I just dread it. I love being out here. Well, this is the drive up to your place. I think it's six miles out from town, you know, where we turn at the bypass. So it's it's not six miles to Starbucks, probably like eight miles to Starbucks, but you get the idea. The bypass is where all the, the shopping is, and then of course downtown is downtown. A lot of new and cool things coming up with downtown. I know you like these drive-ups, and I like to do them because people always ask, well, is there a trailer park nearby? Is there an airport across the road? Like, you know, tell me what the place looks like. And this is a really good way uh, to, we, we got a traffic jam here. We got a tractor and farm tractor and three cars. Now this is on the way to uh, a little tiny town. It's not even a town, it's got a post office. It had a restaurant and it's got like a little store. Oh, and it's got Dollar General. So it's a big enough place for them to plop a Dollar General. In other words, there's enough population around, but not too much. From your new place, which we're gonna see here in a little bit, you're way less than a mile to Dollar General. And they've got lots and lots of everything. So if you get stuck, you can always run out for a bag of potato chips. Like I need more potato chips, right? Stick with me on this drive up because we're gonna go see the barns. We're gonna see the house. Uh, we're gonna see more aerials. I was out here last night because the light was so beautiful. It's a little overcast today, which is fine. That's no problem. But it was spectacular last night. Got to play with the horses. This has always been a horse operation and I don't know how many stalls there are. I'll put it here, I'll find out. But I'm thinking like maybe 12. 12 stalls, two different barns, and you've got run-in sheds, and I don't know all the terminology for the barns. You will know more about it if you're into horses. And if you're not into horses, heck, you can lease it out. You can run cattle on, on the same ground. It's no problem. There, you see that tan barn back there? That's, uh, that's it, and it goes, it wraps around here. And then the blackboard fence and the green gates. Here we are. You're gonna love this place. He planted these trees 22 years ago. That's a pin oak right there, uh, 22 years old. Gosh, it's, it's big around as I am and that's pretty big. Best time to plant a tree, 22 years ago or today. This is all cross-fenced, so you can have the animals in different paddocks and move them around. I know that there's three horses here for sure. I was playing with two of them yesterday. It's gonna be like I own the joint, drive right up on the grass. Hey guys, what's up? Good morning. What can you tell me about this place? Is it pretty nice? Does Michael ever feed you? Does he ever groom you? Look at you guys, you look beautiful. Good morning. And they just put new doors on, on this barn here. In fact, one of our Amish buddies did that. And he did another couple quotes on other little projects. That first barn on the right when you come in, that really needs tin on the outside. William quoted 20, uh, William quoted 2,300 bucks. So. That's cheap enough. Hydrangea. Look at that thing. It's just blowing its head off right there. That's a dandy. And then this great house. Now, some of the decor is a little dated. Not a big deal. It's classy. It's really nice. You're going to look at the, the roof and you're going to think, oh my gosh, what in the world happened here? Well, we had 60 mile an hour winds and it took some shingles off. But the adjuster's been out, and it looks like we're getting a new roof. Or you're getting a new roof. Here we are. It's 47 acres. Hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. I'm going to give you all the information. Okay. Ken's got four bedrooms. I count six. You use those extra rooms for what you want to use them for. I won't mind a bit. I'll let you. <laughs> so four bedrooms, two and a half baths, two and a half. 3,300 square feet, 
the guy built it in 2001 himself. Uh, 47 acres. All right, here's here's all the stuff. There's uh, eight eight paddocks, nine foot ceilings, uh, all crown molding. There's even crown molding in the laundry room. Like really, yeah, really, <laughs> this was done right. You know, probably gonna need some updates, paint stuff like that. He's a professor, retired. They built it in 2001. Nothing has changed, and everything's in pretty good shape. So you're getting the idea, just like your dad or you know your uncle or whatever. Uh, they've got a high-speed detached two-car garage with a 34 by 24 shop, which is right there. Grandfather clock in the foyer could be sold with the house. So if you're looking, if you got a grandfather and you want a grandfather clock, so this was supposed to be a, like a three-car garage or whatever. And he said, now let's build a, a, a garage over here and we'll use this for living space. So you've got three bedrooms and two baths here and then three ginormous rooms and a half bath. But you could easily convert that with the, put a shower, full shower in there. I'll show it to you so you'll understand. It's really pretty simple. I would say, I don't know, everything's expensive today. So I was going to say like two or three grand say maybe four or five grand, I don't know. But then you'd have three full baths. That would be a good investment right there. Uh, the one barn is 60 by 34-ish. So don't hold me to that. Plus a 60 foot shed. Six stalls, tack room, hay storage, blah, 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 new front with doors, back to be done, electric waters. I'm gonna show you everything, three barns. The other barn is 50 by 42 and that's metal. It's got it's a falling barn and it's got four stalls, 16 foot stalls, so mama can be in there with baby. And then uh, barn number three is a 48 by 48, and it's got the the front is the old part. That's the part that I was telling you that William needs to put metal on. And then he said like 2300 bucks. That would be a good investment as well. Some stuff is like, what? That's crazy price. And other stuff is like, yeah, I would buy that. I would do that. And William does a great job. He's a, he's an Amish or Mennonite guy. You don't have to worry about those guys. They get after it. And the 34 by 34 stallion air with kickboard. And the, uh, the other two barns have water and electric. I'll show you the frost proof hydrants and how all that works. But let's go see the house now. And we'll look at the barns later. He wants to get out of here. He's got stuff to do. Heck, I got stuff to do too. Everybody busy. You know, like you need some stuff. You know these little strips? These strips pull right out. I can't pull it out with my finger, but you can pull them out with the pliers. And you get new ones. They're like eight bucks. Tell Ken to buy you a new one. In fact, if Ken buys you a new one, I'll come and I'll put it in for you for free. But it's like little stuff like that. I'm sort of just kidding around, sort of. <laughs> really. You know, some people will look at that and they'll go, oh my gosh, it's terrible. And all you do is just replace this as the rubber. The door is great. And it's got these leaded uh, panels in here, the side lights. It's got a little leaded fan on the top. Reason you want that is because look at the air comes in. So you're heating and cooling the outside. Beautiful foyer, oak, hardwood floors, real oak. These are three quarter inch thick. And pocket doors. I got a bad shoulder. I mean, I got a much better shoulder now that my doc fixed it. A lot of built ins. A lot of crown molding. Look at this stuff. Like, serious? Here's more built-ins. And I'll show you a secret over here in two seconds. Again, it's a bachelor, so, you know, he's watching his Betamax stuff. Got a light bulb out there. You know, I try to be just straight with you. I mean, a light bulb is not the, the killer thing, right? The important stuff is the location. And this is a spectacular location. Six miles to Danville. If you are a doc, and you work at the hospital, you're there so fast. That's the bar and the bar sink. How beautiful is that? And then this is solid surface, some kind of solid surface. Let's just do it. We're gonna jump right into the kitchen. It's huge. So you can change anything you want. Big, beautiful pantry. Yowza. Love that. Campbell soup. Hmm. Cajun seasoning. 
I like that. All right. We know this guy's a bachelor. Let's look in the fridge. Oh, nothing. I, I got, I got, I got to be able to make fun of somebody about something. No, there's nothing in here. Ugh, ice cream and mega bowls. I don't even know what a mega bowl is. I think I had that one time. The doctor told me to use salve or ointment. This goes right out to the screened in porch, which is a dandy. So you got the range over there, and then you've got a nice wall oven here. I'm going to show you all this stuff later because we will be going through that door. Remember that was supposed to be the garage and then in the plans, in the plans it was supposed to be the garage and they changed it. Formal dining room. And if you're going to reconfigure here, you might have an engineer come out, structural engineer, and they'll can, they can tell you if you can pop this out and then just make this all kitchen or eat in or whatever. Or maybe this is perfect for you. Everybody's got different needs. Everybody's got different wants. Look at your views. Stuff you can change and stuff you can't change. That's all your land all the way out there. 47 acres is a big drink of water. French doors. And that's a live fireplace, a real working wood burning fireplace. He's got his desk here. You know, professors do stuff like that. I love smart people. I love to hang around with smart people. It encourages me to be better. I have no idea what all this uh, Christmas stuff is about. But it's still up. And it's almost Derby Day. You know when Derby Day is? First Saturday in May. A week before Mother's Day. One of the prettiest times of the year. All right. Let's look at the like the primary part of the house. Hey, we're back at this foyer. Remember the grandfather clock? Do 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 do. Gee whiz. Dial one eight hundred ninety nine Jenny. <laughs> Sounds like London. Huge coat closet. That's not a coat closet. That is a monster closet. So you can put all your stuff in there. I mean, you, you got room for your vacuum and all that jazz. And all these rooms have closets. That's a double door. This is a lit. No, I was going to say this is a linen. That's a water heater. There's another one. So with this split floor plan, the master. The split floor, floor plan, you literally could have multi-generational in here, like without any trouble. So put Alma down the other side or mother-in-law or whatever, or maybe your boomerang kids. Somebody said to me the other day, what's a boomerang kid? You, ever, you know what a boomerang is, right? You throw it out and it comes back. That's, that's what happens. Beautiful, beautiful size here on the master bed or primary bedroom. I think that's what we have to say now, right? I don't think we have to, but got beautiful, you got great size closet here. So you got a his and hers or hers and hers or a day and a day or whatever. Nice. Walk in shower, the toilet. Pocket door. And there's the garage. And El Garaje. And the kitty cat. Hey, kitty cat. Very friendly, chill cat. Sometimes cats are like a little bit not chill. And I'm like, oh, I don't know if I like cats that aren't chill. That cat is very chill. Giving you an idea of how this all flows, let's go look at the other three bedrooms. 
There you go. Big laundry room, crown molding. So someone must have been a mill worker or something and uh, to have all this crown molding everywhere. We'll have bath. Now, on the other side of this wall is a big room and you got the drain already. So you could absolutely put a shower over there or reconfigure this, not a problem. More built-ins, I'm gonna come back to this. This is like my favorite thing, I love this. Tile floor. So just pop that freezer out of there and put you in a shower or a bathtub or, you know, chunk some of this out, make this a bathroom. And what do we got here? More storage. Can never have too much storage. While we're here, let me take a look at this. There you go. Look at that view. Oh yeah, baby. So this is all screened and glassed. So what do they call that? A three season porch. You could literally put like a little space heater to be out here on a chilly day. Like this morning it was 39 here in the morning, but it's going to be 66 later. So. There you go. You can hear him mowing. He's mowing, <laughs> mowing the grass. I said, how long does it take you to mow the grass? You mow your own grass? Yeah, how long does it take you? He goes, it doesn't matter. Since so I work on it for an hour and a half, I come in, take a nap. I go work on it for another hour and a half. May have a little bourbon. I'm like, you're my man. He's having fun. He's just chilling. All right, so this is one of the rooms back here. Here's another ginormous room. This is easily 14 by 14. I don't think it's 16, but it might be. No, it's 14. It's more than 12. It might be 15. I don't know. Don't you love that? You can put all your awards up there, all your books, and then there's this ton of storage down below as well and then this room it's all closet what a great space this is this would be your living room this would be a bedroom and then back there maybe another bedroom or an office second bedroom living room and then you share the, the kitchen multi-generational simple You got windows that are big enough for a, like a, you know, a legal and safe egress in case there's, you know, an emergency. What can I say? Got to change that out for sure. And if you like it, well, more power to you. Hey, let's go look at the barns. All right. I said, let's go look at the barns. How about let's go look at the garage first? This garage is kicking. Now everybody's got stuff, right? Your stuff and George Carlin about stuff and all that. All his stuff's going to be gone. When you buy this place, you will have none of his stuff. Text Ken and say, hey, help me negotiate those tractors, will you? <laughs> uh, I don't think he's going to be using them uh, where he's going. He's retiring. This is great to have in this workshop here. And then you can have this whole daggone thing as workshop. I'd insulate this puppy, have my wood shop out here. It's got power with plenty of room to expand. That's so important. If this was filled and you wanted to put, bring in a 220 volt air compressor or table saw or something, you'd have to get another whole service and all that stuff. Here, you just pop these two out, pop in a 220 uh, breaker and you're rolling. Run some wire. All right. Now we can go look at the barns. It is, I'm just running around in a shirt. It's 45. I'm like, whoa, 
That's a little chilly, Willie. Got that one running shed there. I'm excited to show you these barns. I'm going to show you the big barns. The running shed is just the running shed. I'm not going to waste my time with that. But I am going to show you all what's going on here. Now, I've told you before about these frost-proof hydrants, right? So you know how these work. You're going to have uh, water in that column when that handle is up. And then when you push that handle down, there's a little weep hole at the bottom and it all goes down. If you ever have to replace that, you're gonna find that there's stone in the bottom. Well, there's maybe, you know, 18 inches around and a foot or more deep with stone. And that's where that water goes. It just weeps into that little weep hole, through that little weep hole, all the water comes out of the column and it makes it frost proof. Can you screw it up? Yes. You can leave the hose on. That would screw it up. Here's one, right here. See, he's got this insulated. But, see that? And then we shut that off, and it goes, sucks it all the way back down. Again, more power. Everything you want. You got good bones here in this place. Look at this. Tons of room. 100 amp service. If you ever need to replace this wood, there are Amish sawmills all over, and you can buy this wood real thick, any thickness you want. You can buy it inch and a quarter, inch and a half, two inches, and you know, if it's oak, a horse won't go through that. You know, horses are always trying to get in trouble. So as far as I understand, one, two, three, four, five, six stalls in here. and then four in the other uh, foaling barn. So I've got kickboards up in there. Yeah, see how much thicker this is than like a regular one by you get at Lowe's? This is pine, this is oak. That's the real deal. If you don't believe me, try to cut it sometime. It is seriously strong. This is a tack room, he wouldn't let me go in there. I don't know, maybe that's where. I'm just joking. Come on. And we got some kind of Rube Goldberg deal here, so I'm not going to uh, climb that fence or anything. But we got new doors on the front, new doors on the back. I think he said 5600 bucks, and William did a spectacular job. They are like, like military precision. Or Amish Terry precision, one or the other. Oh, here, this shed. Here you go. And that goes right on through. This is poured concrete wall here. And all rough cut framing. That'll last forever and ever. And it's not some little two by fours or anything. This is like a straight up gorgeous Kentucky bluegrass horse farm uh, like Lexington would have for a fraction of the price. That's barn number two, I guess. barn number three. See what I mean about having having new metal on there? I don't think it would be a bad idea at all. We'll go in here. We'll go in here first and then we'll go in the other one. This is the main part obviously. This is an old barn. It's got it's got good old timbers. Look at those. What would you do with this? Put in the comments below. Let me know. Locust rails. I'm glad I came in here. This is the old part of the barn, right? So maybe this is a stripping room for um, tobacco, or maybe it was always for animals. It's got those feeders on the edge, on the ends, uh, edges, whatever you want to call it. See that? You throw the hay in there. This might have been horses always. But look what else he's got here. This big addition. This is new-ish. It's newer for sure. Fantastic. All right, let's go look at the bowling barn. Be a good place for the tractor right there. All the paddocks are connected with the, the uh, runways in between. 
and this is the falling barn. Extra size stalls so mama's got room for the baby and everybody's getting up and not stepping on each other. Huge tack room. Huge. One, two, three, four. Easily 16 feet. Another frost proof hydrant. And inside. And these ceiling fans have clearly exceeded their lifespan. <laughs> Alrighty, Michael, I'm out of here. I think I've got everything we need. You came in like a storm with no one in swept me off my feet it was a deadly dance and i knew if i stayed i would never leave cause you had my heart in your hands soft like a summer and then it was a deadly dance and i knew if i stayed i wouldn't stand a chance Just like the boat, from the blue you came right in Loved me to the bone Couldn't believe that you were mine Never felt this kind of love before And you had my heart in your hand Soft like a summer Then it was a deadly dance And I knew if I stayed out